my name's Tara. I work for a charity called the Marine Conservation Society. Today we're asking the question, how does climate change affect the creatures who live in our ocean? Well, this has everything to do with how carbon dioxide gas is naturally soaked up by our ocean. And when that happens, when carbon dioxide goes into the water, it becomes carbonic acid. Now we know that humans are releasing more and more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which means there's more going into the ocean and our ocean's actually becoming slightly more acidic. It's not enough for you and me to be able to feel a difference if we maybe go for a swim in the sea, but it's having a big impact on some creatures who have shells or skeletons that are actually made out of something called calcium carbonate. That's another name for chalk and it's what we'll be using in the experiment shortly. When we put chalk into salt water, similar to the water in the ocean, nothing much happens and the chalk will stay the same. However, when we put the chalk into a weak acid, we see lots of tiny bubbles and the chalk begins to fizz away. These bubbles are full of carbon dioxide gas, a product of the chemical reaction between acids and calcium carbonate. So the changing chemistry of our ocean is making it harder for these creatures to actually get the ingredients they need from the water to be able to build their shells or their skeletons, which makes them more likely to get a disease or maybe they're going to grow more slowly. So what kind of creatures are we talking about? Well, there are some obvious creatures who live in the sea who have shells, like this lovely scallop, or maybe a crab like this, or a sea urchin like the sea potato and some less obvious creatures. So did you know that corals are actually animals who have calcium carbonate skeletons? And it's not just small creatures who are affected. In fact, the biggest creature in the world, the blue whale, is being affected by ocean acidification. And that's because its food, plankton, actually has shells made of calcium carbonate. And lots of coral reefs are actually built upon old dead coral reefs. Well, these are all getting broken down, so creatures are losing their homes. Now, ocean acidification is a developing area of research for many scientists who are running long-term experiments, so we can help to better understand the effects of ocean acidification, and also, hopefully, to understand maybe how we can slow those effects down and how we can help some of these incredible sea creatures. <laughs>